Hello guys, welcome to my uh, pointless uh, build videos where I'm going to repair my 360 controller with the new joystick that I got off of eBay and to be honest, when I got one of the uh, joysticks in the mail, um, it wasn't packaged properly and I actually was really mad and salty over it. So basically, the, one of the joysticks I got had bent pins. If I were so to say, I had to rebend them, so I hope this can like not blur. But you can get the meaning of that one pin, and I had to repair it. So sorry if my voice is loud. I'm right next to the camera, so I already desoldered the stuff. So you had to not watch me go through the desoldering process, but it was a bitch, by the way. So let me uh. Get one of my security screws and let me quickly uh, unscrew this stuff. So, first off, we're gonna be a wee, a pleb and take everything apart again, like you like seeing right here. So, let's uh, take this off. Make sure you don't lose your screws because you might get screwed over by eBay listings. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. At least none of the bins, pins broke, but at least they didn't snap off during the shipping process. They were just bent, so I had to rebend them, which is unsafe for my qualifications. But hey, you get what you pay for for three seventy-five for two of those stupid analog sticks. So I should have bought ten instead, not have to worry about shady eBay listings. So uh, yeah, I don't want to buy ten. Why would I buy tens? You may ask. I don't want to buy 10, so I wasted my money on this. So I am not going to be buying off of eBay anymore. Yeah, even the Xbox One contacts were better packaged in a box. These were not, so uh, yeah. You like me seeing me unscrew security screws. These, are, I just don't like doing this type of uh, work. Um, but one guy has to do it, and this is my personal first controller. You can see there's a little bit of damage I had a long time ago, back in the distant land of make-believe and sarcasm. So obviously I'm not sh unscrewing stuff properly, but hey, uh, camera's down so you can see what I'm doing. But um, I got one screw. They're supposed to be... Uh, seven screws in total and I've only got five of the six screws removed so uh... yeah let's uh, continue on get number six out of here so I'm having the solder soldering iron warming up for a second so uh... yeah that's why I preheat it preamped pre heating it so I could like come on can I unscrew you and I feel like I'm tired, just woke up. I don't want to do the job, but it's the easiest part of the job in the morning. But I uh, just woke up. I don't even know what time it is, so I really don't really care. Because I'm a millennial, and doing this stuff is like a pain. Uh, yeah. But I was born in the 90s, but I was would have been four in the 90s. Or five in the 90s, depends. I was in 95-ish. So, yeah. So I was born in 1995 in some distant land called Cincinnati. Uh, why would you mind talking about my personal stories? But hey, you, you can always listen to my personal pointless stories. But hey, you're watching this to just see me go through this uh, disassembly where I have to work on stuff. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to speed, speed cut it once I've... Uh, disassemble the controller. I usually like the, it's kind of hard to show everything I'm doing trying to disassemble the process. So you want to be careful at this part. Well this is the easy part technically, removing the casing. So obviously the back plate, uh, you got to be careful. What's cool about the um, uh, the 360 controller is you can remove the motors. 
on the Xbox One, you have to desolder the motors, which is a pain, and you have to know what wire goes into which, and you have to memorize every freaking thing on the Xbox One controller. It made me rage quit. So, uh, yeah. So, what's cool about this, you can disconnect the motor. Yeah. Why don't they have that? And the obvious thing is, they don't use magnets on the trigger, so they use a spring-loaded spring -loaded mechanism as such uh, to remove those points. So, obviously, to get the other joystick off, you have to remove the, uh, the one of the triggers. You don't have to remove both, because I'm not a dummy, but hey, I probably am confused of all of this. I haven't worked on this in days, so you got to be careful when you do this, so let me uh, take it off hand. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I like to hold the controller in front of me, not in front of the camera, because that's, that's the hard part doing this process. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm still working on it. So, obviously, I'm trying to remove the backing, or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm trying to properly remove it. Uh, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life recording this video. Uh, come on. You can do it, Sally. Uh, let's see. That's removed. That one's the hard part. Now we had to, uh... Okay, now we got those parts removed. Be careful not to flip this over, because it'll be a bitch to put all the buttons in. And while you're at it, once it was disconnected, you could clean the inside of the button housing to get rid of the uh, Dorito and Mountain Dew infested controllers to uh, clean up the controller from the inside to have newly placed buttons. So obviously, uh, one of the joysticks is... This joystick is covered by a saying, and you gotta remove three solder points in the front panel. So to remove that, you gotta... Make sure you have to remove this trigger. So obviously, um, I don't know why I'm not wearing an electric static wristband. I got the controller for free. If it doesn't work, I'll just uh, give up on it and do something else. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of have a really bad memory span, and I'm kind of really impatient. So obviously, I hate doing this. Uh, why did I put this? joystick on. I'm trying to figure out what to do. So obviously you have to be careful when you do this. It's already been desoldered but you may never know if it be soldered back. So this is one of the trigger housing and what's cool it uses a spring. It's mechanical. Uh, the only buttons that you like get off the controller is these two bumper bumpers you don't want to bend. You want to be careful with it. And don't be a dummy like me and trying to bend them. Okay. Uh, I never bend them anyway. And this is the sync button right here. Uh, it could be blurry because I have a shitty GoPro. Uh, fake one, by the way. So obviously, you want to make sure you mount them correctly and not drop the circuit board. Uh, where's my uh, pointless... Uh, Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which one to put on first. This one's the good one, and this one's the shitty one. Uh, am I so right? Yep. Let me see what's going on the screen. So, you can see I have a shitty tripod, by the way. Uh, first off, I'm going to put the new one in. I'm going to put the shitty one on the one that's actually don't have to resolder. So, I'm going to put it on this one. Obviously, so I uh, put the shitty one on the one that you don't want to put on. So, let's see if this will all fit in one go. As you can see, it's been... Okay. Okay, that's been inserted in like a paraplegic trying to inserting something in that won't fit in because someone sh uh, the company that shipped it had uh, shipped in bad packaging like in a garbage bag or something so uh, yeah that's in uh, let me 
take a closer work look at it before I uh, solder stuff in. So three pins are inside. Yeah, right. yeah, all the pins are in the holes. So the easy part. So the easy part of doing this pointless charade stuff is trying to become the very best. I'm gonna flip it this way so you can see a stupid viewpoint of it. Uh, let me see if my camera is in focus. So obviously you might not be able to see this, but I'm gonna just digitally zoom on it. So yes, you can see all the pens are in place, and this is kind of like my bad camera shot. So uh, take take in mind that I am a noob at soldering. So I'm heating up the tip. So obviously you want to become, you want to solder the four contact pen very safely, and I hope I don't like fuck up. So this is going to be a speed up process. Make sure to not uh, screw up the solder points, and you want to make sure you have stuff for it. So I'm gonna be back if I could like at least fix it. So let's see if we're all good. So we're gonna do the other pointless side. We're gonna solder again. Oh, it's just the solder part. So hope you uh, enjoy. So let's uh, speed speed run this through. Uh, don't fail like a, a drumba like me. So obviously I'm gonna.
Hello guys, sorry for the random flashback. I have to be able to get this on here, but the problem is I have to uh, cut and do a bunch of random stuff at the same time. So first off, we need to cut, well we need pliers first, I got. So let me see if I can like plier this. So you might not see this offhand. I want to make sure uh, that I don't fuck anything up like... So let me quickly, uh, be careful. Okay, I got the thing on. So the last part we have to do is to, uh, put the thing on. So after that, uh, part where I, uh, desoldered the joints, I'm gonna have to solder in and plug in back the solder. Cause I had to reach for a tool that was very unnecessary. But hey, you, you learn from your pointless mistakes and make memes. And all that such, uh, obviously let me turn on the soldering iron, uh, wait for it to warm up, and cut back to you probably. Maybe, maybe not. I, I just like to talk about BS stuff for my past self and all my uh, pointless other lives and such. I, I am confused. I don't know what to do because I have no clue why I'm doing this and why I'm recording this video. But I'm going to give it a shot. Uh... Uh, what else needs to be soldered? Wait a minute. Wait. Um, hmm. Wait, were those solder points? What were those off of? I'm trying to figure out what the three solder points were for. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore those. Um... Yeah, I don't know what those three solder points right there for. I have no clue why I have three solder points. Maybe it's just extra. I probably might want to regret doing this video. So obviously, I have to solder these three joints, obviously. Um, to insert the trigger back again, do that pointless uh, soldering thing again. So obviously, let's uh, solder that back on. And since it's all connected, since uh, it's back forward, I could lay it flat this time. So obviously, you're going to watch very closely at my mistake. Uh, that's too far in, but hey, I'm going to at least try to give you proper lighting. But who cares? It's my pointless life video where I do a pointless build blog where I do absolutely nothing. Confusing you guys with my pointless nonsense. So, uh, welcome to the video, so, this video ain't wasting my time, but hey, let's, uh, okay, you gotta be careful to solder me, you gotta not scrub it, fuck it up, like last time, like, oh man, okay. be very magenta, come on. Okay, you got this. I got one shutter point down. I got... Hmm. Come on. Come on, bitch. That not touching, but hey, it's not touching. Don't don't worry about that. See how dark it is get in my room? That's why it's really fucking hard to concentrate without a proper lighting setup. Oh, God. That was it. That was it. I am done. I am fucking done. I'm gonna have to test the controller out. I've never plugged this controllers in years, but... To me, I uh, hope you enjoy the bad lighting quality of the video, but hey, as you can see on the left three joysticks right here, uh, those are all soldered in, not touching each other, and you can see on the back, it's hooked up, properly secured, probably, maybe, I have no clue. Uh, hope you enjoy the video where I've talked about nonsense most of the time, and now I have to assemble the controller, which is fucking the easy part. So, obviously, I'm going to keep this uh, thing up back there. I have no clue what I'm doing, but 
I hope you can like understand how frustration is to repair a joystick controller. I'm gonna point the controller back, zoom out, and reassemble the the 360 controller. Obviously, uh, first off, you need to put your joysticks out of order for five dollars, which was a bitch. So why did I spend five dollars on a joystick? Uh, saying because the ones that were in my closet upstairs was actually got bit chewed by freaking mice. So I had to get new ones for five dollars and I only wanted two. So obviously I hope these god dang fit who the fuck made these but hey I have no clue why the Chinese manufacturer factor made these so I hope these fit. And there's an ant inside one of these. Dumb ant. Okay. That fits. As you can see, I'm assembling the controller. Um, I'm gonna speed speed through this real quick, or time lapse if I really want to. If I have nothing interesting to say in the next few seconds. I normally mumble for, uh, why do I mumble a lot? I have no clue. I have no clue why I'm doing this video, obviously. So, uh, yeah, um, let me, uh, reassemble this pointless nonsense, uh, machinery. So, I want to make sure it's set up like that. I want to make sure it's like, it's like assembling Legos, but more advanced. Uh, I don't know what I mean by... Uh, non-Lego issues, uh, okay, I hope I can fit this in, um, do I have to, like, you said, is it, why is it not going in? Okay. Okay. I got that in. Got that sorted through. Um, yeah, I hope this fits. First off, you want to do the motors, the rumble motor. So, right is large, left is small. So, small. So, wait, right, large. No, 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 no. Right, left is large, right is small. Was it that true? Okay, okay. So, right trigger, so... Right trigger, as in the right trigger goes, um, so left is large. I, I, I don't care. They're, they're two different size motor. Is there any, any benefits of saying that? <laughs> so left is large, right is small. So, yes. Um, I don't know if that exactly has to be configured that way, but I have no clue. So please keep that in mind. The motor is small on that side, so left, right is small, and left is large. So you can get the drift. And we're going to put these in. Look how easy it is. It would take me less than a half an hour to do this stuff, but I don't know how long I've been recording. I'm really curious how long I've been doing this uh, build. But it's a s assembling process, but it's a pain in my ass, obviously. Uh... Now the next easy part is put the casing back on. You want to be careful when you don't want to screw up anything else like I did last time. You want to insert the trigger properly. And let's see if this is inserted the proper way. So, hi, it's Baldy. Educational and learning. <sighs> I, I really don't make sense right now. And probably because I inhaled a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Uh... Solder. So this was called solder, obviously. So uh, I need to make sure it's like properly. Okay. And if you do want to do extra credit, you could clean the controller if you really wanted to. You get all the filthy uh, Mountain Dew and Doritos stains that you have probably placed in hand. So clean that way you can with some rubbing alcohol. Uh, what is the basic compound of rubbing alcohol, you may ask? Alcohol! So, uh, obviously, I might have drank too much during this video, but I probably don't know. I don't drink, though, but uh, I want to be a drinker, but hey. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is this is just 
me screwing the controller in and after I assemble it I'll probably probably show if it's working so so please like the video if you like the pointless nonsense I've been creating uh, Thumbs down the video if you really dislike it, and comment if you dislike the video reason why. But I don't know. Why do people dislike my video and doesn't comment? I have no clue. Maybe maybe because I'm just a shit content maker and does all pointless stuff. But I do this as a hobby, so... I'm just going through this stuff like rocket science, and you probably don't understand what I'm doing. But it's obviously clear that I'm lame at doing this stuff, so... I, I'm kind of new, so, yeah. This sword, this sword is fun, screwing in all the security screws and not messing up. But hey, you, you get training once you learn through this stuff. This is probably in, in, in I can't pronounce word today. I must have inhaled too much solder because I'm in a closed room. So, obviously, uh, don't make sense. So, I don't make sense because I don't make sense. So, uh, yeah, um, let's see what I can do for this one. Uh, come on, screw it in. You ain't no jolly wagon, but I don't even know what a jolly wagon is. So, uh, screw that one in, and we got three more screws to go. We got the, we got the triangle, uh, the Illuminati screws we have to deal with. And I kind of, uh, messed up because I... And messed up again because I don't know how to insert a screw. So obviously you want to not mess up like I I am. I am. I am dot com. <laughs> yeah, I got it in. Yeah, it finally took like four or five tries. Like some guy, some old guy trying to fondle his controller that he just repaired. Uh, this is mine, so it's obviously not a client, but hey. The parts I got was kind of a uh, damage. I hope they work as promised. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave a, uh, I'm gonna leave a like a negative review, probably a neutral. Cause if they don't work, I'm gonna do a negative review. But I have not turned on this controller in decades, so it might be. Totally my fault that why I wasted my money repairing this 7, probably 13, 14 year old controller that came with my first, uh, god damn it, uh, that came with my first Xbox 360 controller, obviously. Let me just put that in there, just go in, just fit it in. You don't have to tilt over, brah. Uh, man. So that got it. <sighs> I got it in there, so hope you enjoy my pointless life commentary and things that I have to do for my uh, pointless life. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, test the buttons, triggers, up and down, left and right, start menu. Check the joysticks, and they actually feel smooth and new. And look at that, it, it's all new again. So yeah, I'm going to test the video, uh, test controller later for my personal sake, and I'll do it later. So, and edit this video as well, so I'm going to jump cut to the testing part, and hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So as you can see, my uh, controller is working, and it's the same controller, I just don't have a battery pack for it. And the rechargeable pack wasn't working well for me. As you can see, the... You can see the controller going left, right, left, down, up. It's inverted for some odd reason. As you can see, if I press the, click the right thumbstick, it punch, left thumbstick, left trigger punch. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, left joystick punch, the kraut punch button works, so I have to be careful. As you can see, up. Uh, down, left, right, uh, start menu obviously works, back menu works, uh, right bumper, uh, what about, oops, I actually uh, shot myself, left bumper, so left bumper works obviously, so yes, if you're playing Saint Row, let's see if the sprint, yeah, sprint work, so thanks for watching. 
Yeah, everything's working now, so that'll be it. Hope you enjoy the uh, content, and I'll be back in, within the next few years, and bye.